Hello everybody, Dark Moon Blade Nick here, and I didn't even mean to do an invasion for this, I was just going to show you the moveset, and some of the two combos that you gotta get down if you want to use this weapon properly. Show you the AR, which right there is 838, I mean 834, when it's 200, 853, it's really high, uh, two hits are going to do 880, and then one hit is gonna, if you're running it, we'll do 500. And then one handed, it does like 740. This weapon excels in um, roll catching. It's a pretty big hopper. Its phantom range is ridiculous, like that, see? But at least you get to show you some of the moves. That's a jumping attack. Isn't really gonna be used that much. But he keeps not getting hit. Come on. Let me get some hyper armor on you. This guy is failing to use the ring knight sword. Come on. One more. Ah. Uh. Alright. Come on, what are you gonna do? Alright, uh, he takes out the exile great sword now. Ooh. Now I gotta play with one handed, probably. Yeah, there you go, I'm gonna parry you. Haha. -ha. Pyromancy, okay. Interesting. Not the two weapons that I'm expecting. Try to get a combo on him, but. He just keeps running away. He probably doesn't have much Estus left, honestly. He was chugging early. <sighs> Alright. Let's get in range. Same as last time, like 500. 443. Oh my. Alright, he's dead. There's 500. I finally have to heal. But you're dead. <laughs> got the hyper armor. Now this is the move you gotta remember. One, two. And then just do RT real quick. Just tap it. And to get that's to get people roll catching, rolling away or towards you after you get a combo on them. And the other one is obviously this one. And usually it leaves that little pink fart behind you that explodes after like five seconds. Which is fun to leave on people's dead bodies. I've only killed one person with it, effectively. I, I do have it recorded, but I had so many good fights that I didn't want to just show you that for no point. It's like stupid. It's in the middle of a 2v2. This is what I was wearing. I was not using Pontiff's right eye. I had um, Dragon Crest Ring plus one. Priestess ring, hornet ring, shot dark moon ring, but the one right above it, and I, or knight's ring, <laughs> and I just miss it being an idiot, but 60 faith, 40 strength, 30 vigor, 27 endurance, Let's get to the duels, this person, uh, nope, do the 2v2 first, I always do team matches to warm up, but I started recording 30 minutes in, 30 seconds in, and my teammate got destroyed. And I'm gonna get killed if I don't parry him or do something. One more. Oh my god. That was lucky. But he gets to heal up. 1100 is not enough damage to kill him. Of course. No! I have like no health. If I get a kill, that's a miracle. So close. At least he, he killed both of them, but I can heal myself up. Woo. All the way up. <laughs> Screw that. I'd rather have full health than Dark Moon right now. 
Just help my teammate out. Yeah, now I got a kill. Now I got mana. FP, whatever. I'm just gonna always follow mana. Let's get this Dark Moon up. So I can have the 850 AR. What is he doing? There you go. 1170. It's so high. Depending on the person's armor, it could do more. Now, I would die in one shot from it. With my 30 vigor. But these people have like 40. Oh well. That person doesn't. <laughs> but no one shot for him. Come on. Oh yeah. There it is. And you too? Um, <laughs> almost two combos in a row. Oh yeah. Professional right there. I was trying to fix the volume. I don't want it to be too loud. Someone said my voice sounds like I'm talking too loud into the mic. Let me know if it sounds okay. But I'm sa I'm a college student. I'm saving up to get a better mic. One second. That was so dumb. And that's my like first death. Oh my god. That's life. You're like, all right, I'm safe. Nope, no, no, the guys are behind me. I'm dead. At least they're not gonna backstab me this time. Kill him real quick. Damn, how did that not hit him? Must have rolled it at the right time. Come on. Thank God I got that hyper armor. Not sure how. Nice, time they get the greatest combat. Now for the duels. I went 12 and 0. On the 12th match, I got a draw. I did these last night. I didn't want to come out with a new video till Friday, so edited it this morning. Got it all ready. This guy just that was a good warm up, sir. That's what I'll call that. But you always gotta be ready to have the parry thread out. Because the more options, the better, as always. And you might always want to be holding LB so that you can do quick running attacks. Makes a lot of things, like, so that you can, you want, because this game's all about capitalizing on the other person's mistakes, them attacking, and them messing up. You can have a match that go on for five minutes and you keep being perfect. I've had it happen many times. Just mistake, that person swung when he shouldn't. Thought I wanted to show you guys the roll catch. It didn't work at all that time. Come on, roll into it. But me even doing that is pretty much a mistake. He could run attack me and get one hit in. But no. He's not emphasizing my mistakes. That's why he lost. Not yet. He pretty much is dead now. And on to the next one. Praise the moon. Honestly, the only weakness to this weapon is getting parried, because you can get parried pretty easily. I mean, if you people know the timing of a hover, it's not that hard, to be honest. Come on. 
This guy's using the Mirakumo with sorcery. It's interesting. But uh, someone suggested to me on, on Reddit to like use a Mirakumo or Exile for Viromancy. But I think it's weird. But whatever. You're almost dead anyways. You shouldn't be concentrated on your weapon too much. It should be like an add-on to your... See, that just made you do terrible. You didn't hit me once. You either use the weapon or use the magic. But if you're using both, you're gonna die. Anytime. Make sure you have your plan. Like, if you're gonna do magic, have like a parry ready or something. Like with the pyromancy. Like in my Demon Scar video. Be able to throw a pyromancy, then have them run at you and parry them. But don't throw stupid stuff out. Like this guy. He's already lost 100 health because of his that stupid spell, whatever it's called. Inner heat. <laughs> whatever. I know I'm not saying the right thing. That's a wasted dumb move. You know? Um, that's a mistake. You don't want to make those. I beat this guy twice, but... I was gonna show both of them, but no point. This guy sucked horribly. I want to show the better of the fights. The other one, he, he just died in like two seconds. He couldn't even chat. I guess that, see, that one was more of a challenge. Uh, at least he got me to half health. Looks like two more duels. But overall, this is one of those weapons like where my kill death through is around 10 to 1. So it's one of the, it's definitely top tier amazing weapon. It's also a combo killer which I love. I messed the combo up there, but it happened. Anything that does like 1100 damage like in one combo is amazing for invading. So we'll be bringing you a bunch of invasions at the end and gank spanks because I really I messed up a bunch of gankers when I was playing with this weapon. And I look forward to doing it in my future video with the split leaf. Albert, if that's what it's called. I can't believe they didn't put any twin blades in my game. Yeah. I wish there was more twin blades. I missed them from Dark Souls 2. They were the best. I'll make my own video game in time. And I'll put a bunch of twin blades and every type of blade. Dual blades, halberd. Spears, pitchforks. <laughs> oh, don't get in my ass. Oh, he went in my ass. That was close. Oh, I caught him that time. Gotta protect that ass. And there's that roll catch. Ha ha ha. Praise the moon. Now for the invasions, which I all did them at Illithil, because I love do I love doing invasions here, since it's like a hallway. Isn't, there's not many places for people to hide. Makes it a lot easier. Like the swamp and other places are just terrible. Great, a faith build and another person not looking good. I only died twice out of like the 14 invasions I did. Roll catch. Nope. Gotta practice practice those roll catches though. If you want to use this weapon. Just like that. Whoop. Done. He's sorry. <laughs> Stay down. No, my controller batteries are low. Don't turn off yet. Seven more minutes. Exile Greatsword. This is going to be a spacing battle. With every weapon I use, I always like take five, ten minutes to like free aim and see where everything like lands just to get my spacing down perfect, you know? I feel like that's necessary to get the basics down. Like, that's the first step to learning a weapon. 
then learning the moves, and then learning how to not lose, and mess people up like that. That was just easy. That was not, that, I mean, that person got messed up, but that person just did, th I mean, I'm happy he didn't do any Estus or Chuck anything. That was nice. That was like a duel. He would have lost that duel for sure, and he did. But any weapon that's a combo killer, I love. This is one of my favorite weapons of the DLC. Right now, Demon Scar, Mad King's Crucifix, and Gale's Greatsword are my, f my top three favorite. Ring Knight Paired Greatsword is fourth now. Bop, bop, bop. But I still can't believe, like, the Ring Knight weapons have been pretty popular, though. See what this guy's got. Wow. Failure. Double failure? Triple failure? That was bad. Those are some perfect roll catches, though. This is the one that I started before. Dang. Because this was a long one. It was a gank, so. I didn't know how long I had to record for him. And like, I started recording like too, too late, so then I had to go back and just do the last three minutes. So I didn't get the exact, but that's alright, good. We'll go find him and kill him as fast as possible. Take a hit of some weed and mess them up. Might as well. But luckily they're right in the room, so in the church of Yorshka. Get rid of them real quick. Is this? Nope, it's. Pyromancy, huh? Chaos bed chaos Why am I forgetting what it's called? <laughs> Cause that's not chaos bed vestiges. That's chaos fire orb. It looks so puny. Like I thought it looked so much cooler when I'm a pyromancer. Damn, I look that much like a bitch. Oh my god. I didn't even notice there was two of them. Until just then. And they were definitely waiting here to gang people in here. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Heal up real quick. <coughs> <coughs> Good luck hit. Combo. <coughs> I farted. <coughs> A purple fart. At least now that I've mastered this weapon, I won't dodge. Look at how, look at that. Oh, this is the guy that dodges it. Good dodge, sir. He tried the parry. At least he knows what he's doing. That's why this. Come on. Does 307 not buff? Not horrible. The next episode is gonna be the war banner, so <laughs> thank you, friend. I'll hit him, you hit him, I hit him, you hit him. Dead. Have a look at the Lothic war banner with Dark Moon versus quality build. Honestly, while in quality build, it's more about your skills. And if you have skills, then you'll win no matter what. And Dark Moon is, it just has, like, you can make less mistakes. And does more damage, so quality builds better kind of in the beginning and then Dark Moons. But we'll get more into that when I use the weapon more. Cause having 40 in vigor is really good. Like in turning it into a long battle, sometimes it's advantageous for long weapons. It's just to annoy people. But the Lothic War Banner has a oh Combo kill! Oh, shit. 
I'll fart on your dead corpse. But well, most people will die in that one combo. Without a doubt. <laughs> but anyone with like 35 vigor and above will die, will live. So it's not a bad idea to have like Storm Curve Sword or. Or, or like a small sword, anything, a scimitar, or a dagger, murky hand scythe, just to get like one last hit on someone, you know? Not a bad idea. To have with any pole arm. The hardest part is always getting that last hit. But even more so with like, a big weapon. I didn't go with the combo, but this guy is just bad. Wasn't not gonna hit the combo that time. Alright, and we're on to the last one, so if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. Get the updated on when the new ones come out, as the next one will be, the War Banner. Uh, and it will be a verdict episode and this is the guy that was hiding all the way in the corner look pff, asshole Thought I was gonna hit him too, and he has the ring knight paired great swords Time for you to lose Ow, I could have died there real easily Luckily his spacing was really bad and I hit the not over 900 for the kill. And that one really shows how far you can, like, the length goes to really kill people.